Directorate of CID in close coordination with the Directorate of Forensics has now established 12 other cases that are linked to Sipapa. Now, my name is Melad Zmilo, aka Fula, and I'm welcoming you to another round of stories making headlines in the country. And of course, this is the Buzz UG. In case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. <music> Now, the Parliament of Uganda is investigating circumstances under which the chief bodyguard of the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, disappeared to the U.S. without the knowledge of his bosses. Now, Agre Aruho has been missing for about two weeks, and Parliament Division Police Commander Stephen Agaba has declared him a deserter from duty. Now, his disappearance has gained special significance following the revelations by the Speaker about the alleged plot to assassinate her. Now, Chris Obore, the Parliament Communications Director, says they are also investigating Aruho's visa approval. Well, in other news, Mitiana Municipality Member of Parliament, Horrible Francis Zake, has responded to reports that he had invited the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk, to his wedding. Now, a big section of the public has wondered why Honorable Zake would refuse to take money from a guest he had invited to his function. But Honorable Zake has denied ever inviting Right Honorable Anita Monk, the Speaker of Parliament, to his wedding. <music> Well, in other news, Uganda police has revealed that they have initiated investigations into the threats directed on the Speaker of Parliament, Right Honorable Anita Monk. Now, Mr. Fred Nanga, the spokesperson of Uganda police, says they are investigating the extent of the threats and uh, they are also working with the office of the Right Honorable Speaker of Parliament, you know, to identify the source of the threats directed towards her. Now, before we listen to Mr. Fred Nanga, we all remember last week Mr. Sipapa was charged with aggravated robbery and he's still in prison with his wife. Now, Mr. Fred Nanga has revealed that Sipapa has been linked to more other 12 cases that were committed in a span of eight years. But all these years, Uganda police, where have you been? I mean, Mr. Sipapa has been around. Anyway, let's first of all listen to Mr. Fred Nanga, but don't forget to subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Zmilo, a.k.a. Fula. Thank you. This is now a police matter that is being actively investigated by the Special Investigations Division in Chireka. You are all aware that the position of Speaker of Parliament is a very important position that would have enormous consequences uh, to the country, to parliamentarians, if any risks occurred uh, to the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament. So our team of CID experts uh, from the Special Investigation Division in close coordination with other intelligence, investigative and operational uh, teams from sister security agencies uh, investigating the extent of the threats they are also working with the Office of the Right Honorable Speaker to identify the source of the threats directed towards her. Uh, but we want to remind you that this is a protected investigation. Uh, we shall not elaborate about to when and how these threats were made until we have uh, uh, thoroughly come out with uh, findings. Uh, we, we know that uh, with uh, the much interest from the media, uh, they may want to find an inch by inch update on this investigation, but we know it can easily compromise the investigative strategy with the Havens Bless and also compromise the, comp the cooperation of uh, witnesses. In addition, our Directorate of uh, Counterterrorism continues to monitor 
the security detail of the Right Honourable Speaker of Parliament and uh, it continues to do so to ensure that the all-round protection of bodyguards stay vigilant at all levels of movement and at her residence. We've also notified the Parliamentary Police Unit uh, to remain vigilant when operating in and around the Parliamentary facilities. As always, we continue to remind uh, members of the public in general uh, to remain uh, vigilant and report any suspicious movement or objects to police or sister security agencies or uh, the local uh, council leaders. You are aware last week we charged uh, one of uh, the robbery suspects, that is Olimo Charles Sibapa, with a gravated robbery, and uh, they were actually remanded together with the wife. Uh, today we come to inform you that uh, Following the fingerprints and DNA samples which were lifted from Olimo Charles Sipapa, uh, we are now linking him to 12 other scenes of crime, of burglary and theft. Our Directorate of CID in close coordination with the Directorate of Forensics has now established 12 other cases that are linked to Sipapa. This follows uh, his fingerprints and DNA samples which we are run in our databases and uh, the scientifically matched uh, samples that we picked from 12 other scenes. Uh, this implies he was the perpetrator or one of the perpetrators at the scene of all the criminal incidents in Rugorovi, Kabaragara, Kira Road, Jinja Road, Chiwatule, Intinda, and uh, Chanja Jumai. Uh, the crimes stretch from the year 2014 up mm -hmm. to 2022. Uh, that's over a span of eight years. So our task team is arranging to interrogate him on the string of uh, alleged burglaries and uh, theft.